guys, I just want to say how awesome that YouTube support staff is. They are kind, they're caring, they're professional, they're quick, very brilliant people to be able to pull back a hacked account from a hacker, hijacker, the way they got it back within 36 hours was phenomenal. Hats off to YouTube support. You rock. YouTube support Good morning, is fam. awesome. I know you're used to seeing me with food in front of me and I'm always eating for you guys with the mukbangs. But today, I'm here to talk to you guys about something really, really important because I did not know how important <laughs> it was until it happened to me. I know probably like a lot of you, you, you hear about hacking and stealing the identity of people, identity theft, you know, we hear about it a lot. But unless it strikes close to home, you really don't think it's going to happen to you. You know, it's like everything. I think that's how the average person thinks. You know, it's not going to happen to me. Well, guys, hacking YouTube channels is a real thing. I posted on Monday, Martin Luther King Day, January 17th. I did a short post in the evening sometime. I, I would say probably like around 7, 7.30, Monday evening. And... Checked my YouTube a little later in the evening before I went to sleep. So I would say the last time I saw my page was about 10 or 11 o'clock Monday night. And when I got up Tuesday morning, I had all these plans. You know, I, I wanted to get up and work out and make some videos. And, you know, I just had my day planned, washed clothes, just just average day, you know. And I noticed I had an email pop up around 6 in the morning on Tuesday, January 18th. And it said, you know, it was from Google, Gmail. It said, someone is attempting to change your password. Is it you? And I hit the no real quick. And I got another email right behind that. Someone is attempting to change your recovery phone number. Is it you? I'm hitting no. And the messages keep coming. It's my recovery email. Sending me messages asking me if I'm the one that's trying to change my information on my Gmail account. I have four Gmail accounts, by the way. So the one that was attached to my YouTube was hijacked. Somehow they bypassed the two-step verification. They passed by every security measure that I had. And I and I probably only had two, you know, which was my backup phone number, uh, the recovery phone number, and the recovery, recovery email. So, you know, they got through it. And when I realized what was happening, why I'm getting these messages... I went to my Gmail. I went to that account that they were referring to. I couldn't get in it. Next thing was my AdSense account, which is Google AdSense. It's how Google pays you for being monetized on YouTube. That was the second thought that ran through my mind. I went to my AdSense it wasn't there. Couldn't see it at all. Not even to try to log in. It was not there. And then I tried to go to YouTube. I tried to pull up my YouTube and it brought up my page, but it had a different name. And I was so startled and so distraught at that moment, I didn't even think to write down the name that I was reading. I just know that I was looking at my page and the name was different. And my videos, um, there were a few 
at the top of the page, but then they started to one by one, they were just disappearing. And when I tried to switch to my YouTube studio, I was, it was log, it had logged me out. I was already logged out of there. And when I tried to go back to YouTube, that page was gone too. I couldn't see anything now. I completely, no lie, I completely had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I literally started shaking. I, I had a panic attack. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know whether to scream or cry. I, I was just, I was totally amazed and shocked and shattered to find no access to anything associated with YouTube or my Gmail account, my one account, the most important one. So my next thought is, okay, I have other affiliates. You know, I've got to check Amazon next. At six o'clock in the morning <laughs> on Tuesday, I'm on the phone with Amazon you know, making sure all that is okay, changing emails and passwords with them and sealing that and securing that, doubly making sure, doubly making sure it was secure. Now, let me backtrack from here. You're probably wondering, well, how did that happen? How did this happen? Go back to Monday. Monday morning. I received an email from a would-be sponsorship and they said they were from Reebok. So I opened the email. I mean, I usually check emails that are possible, you know, collab opportunity for a sponsor. So I opened it. And, you know, they said, if you want more information, please let us know. And I replied back and I said, yes, I would like more information. They wanted me to run ads on my YouTube for Reebok. That would have been great. <laughs> so I replied back and, and they sent me some information. It was in a zip file. If you don't know what a zip file is, it is just simply like a, a regular file on your computer that has compressed the information in it. Like it's maybe a lot of information, so it had to compress the file to get into a folder. So it zips it. And to open it, you have to unzip it with a program on your computer, which is usually WinZip or something like that. You know, that's beside the point, but I got that zip email and um, the email simply said, uh, this is a compressed file, so you'll have to You'll have to use your zip, you know, your win zip to open it. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I know, I know. So I tried to go open it. And for some reason, the program would not allow it to open. It wouldn't allow it to open. And I'm, I kept trying and trying. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to email these people back and tell them that they're going to have to send me a file that is a word file or a PDF or something like that because I'm not I can't open the zip. Well, before I could ever get a response back to that email that I sent, all of this other stuff started to happen. So, I realized on Tuesday I thought back to the email that I had gotten from Reebok. I said that was a phishing scam. I was fished and they probably got into my computer because I clicked the link. That's what a phishing scam is. Phishing. Beware. If you get any links that you're not familiar with in your email, delete it. Don't open it. Do not click on it. Delete it. Delete the entire email. That's the first security measure you want to take 
for your personal devices. Do not click on it. That gives them access to take whatever they want hostage. In, in this case, they wanted my Gmail account and my YouTube and my AdSense. So they took those hostage. And at six in the morning, while I'm on the phone with Amazon, I'm thinking in my mind, now I have to try to find out who to contact next. You know, I've got to let Google know that my Gmail is gone and, and my AdSense is gone and it's been hijacked, hacked into. It's probably going to be really important to them to get that closed because there's financial information in that AdSense, you know. So not to mention payments that were due to me that could be now routed to the hijacker, hacker. I call them hijackers because I really felt like I was held hostage. I really felt like, I don't know, I've never been, I've never been kidnapped before, <laughs> but I could imagine how a hostage would feel now because you don't have control of anything and someone is running the show. Now, the companies that I need to contact are on the West Coast. I'm on the East Coast, Steel City. And I tried to call the numbers anyway, hoping for a 24 hour service, you know. No, we open at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So I'm looking at the clock. And I'm like, that's 12 o'clock here. And it's only six o'clock. So I've got six painstaking hours to wait to try to find out what to do to get my account back. All those hours that are going, taking away, the, the, the hijackers doing something with my account. But what? Deleting all my videos, my three years of hard work. I'm a mess, okay? I'm a mess. I, I don't think I even took a shower Tuesday. I don't because the day went by in it felt like it was a 15 minute day you know one minute it was six o'clock a.m and the next minute it was nine o'clock p.m and i don't have my youtube what's going on what happened so i'm searching you know i tried to call google and youtube and both gave me the you know, Pacific time. Well, I come to find out that Google doesn't talk to you on the phone anyway. Neither does YouTube. But doing some searches on YouTube, trying to find out how to get your hijacked account back, I found a few people that said to get a hold of YouTube and this is the first thing that you want to do. Forget about Google. If your YouTube gets hijacked, forget about calling or reaching Google. Get a hold of YouTube first. And the way you get a hold of YouTube is on Twitter. Believe it or not. That's how I reached YouTube. At Team YouTube on Twitter. I gave them a tweet, sent them a tweet out explaining what happened. And this was about nine o'clock in the morning while I'm waiting for 12 o'clock to come so I can call the West Coast. But Team YouTube on Twitter told me, don't worry. We understand that you are panicking. <laughs> they knew. They knew. And... I really appreciated that, you know, that they showed empathy. It was great. It was really great. And they said, we'll send you a form. You fill out that form and submit it and someone will contact you. It could take up to 48 hours. I'm thinking, oh, no, 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 no. You know, please. But I got the form within another half hour or so and I filled it out 
they need to know your channel ID, which is very, very hard to get if you don't have your channel anymore. You may have the custom ID, but that's not the one they're asking for. They want that long number, the QZ125Z2F9. They want that. They want that. At Team YouTube on Twitter can't help you. They they sent me a number and it was not the correct number. It was to one of my other pages that was still fine and up and operating. I needed Steel City Mukbangs ZQFRZY2988. I needed all that. I needed that from Steel City Mukbang page. And I didn't know how to get it, you know, so I got another email from YouTube support. I got my, my first email from YouTube support and they told me that I could find an email from maybe another account that was from YouTube and my channel ID should be on it. So I found, I found some old emails from like two years ago in another email from notifications that I had gotten back from various creators because I had commented on their video and they responded back. So on my little picture, my profile picture on that email, I clicked it and it took me to a blank page, but it was my page and it had the number in the search box. So I sighed a whole big, huge sigh of relief and I gave them that number. Um, by now, by, let's see, this would be, I submitted that form on Tuesday in the afternoon. So when I woke up Wednesday morning, I had an email from Google. Uh, they wanted me to try a link that they had sent me to recover my account. And it was an official um, Google email, so I wasn't afraid to click that link. Um, so I clicked that link that they sent me and they walked me through some steps and I was able to log back into my Gmail account that had been hijacked. I changed the password. I put um, the back. I put back the two-way, the two-step verification. I put that back on, and I also added another email, and I ordered a security key. It's a little device that you can plug into your phone or your computer that will that's how it unlocks you know it can't be your password won't work any other way i ordered one of those and that's coming uh on saturday so that was basically the only thing google did for me and they did that after being prompt by youtube the account had been compromised YouTube was in contact back and forth with me and they said, you know, we've escalated this up to our experts and we'll, we'll stay in touch with you as we hear things, you know. So I kept trying to log in all afternoon and evening yesterday. And on the 36th hour, of not having my page or having control of it. I got an email from YouTube that said one of my videos had a copyright violation, but it wasn't a strike. So I know now if they're sending me emails about that, then they must be able to see my videos because it was definitely one of my videos it, I could tell by the title of it and it was an old video from when I first opened my account back in 2008 
it was from that long ago, so I knew they were looking at some old, old material, and I'm thinking, okay, that means they have a hold of my videos. I'm like, I don't care about, I don't care about the copyright claim. You know, it was just a claim. It wasn't a strike or anything. So that means they must have my account. So I kept trying now. I'm trying, log in, log in, log in. <laughs> and I noticed that the email that I got about the copyright claim had the hacker's name on it, this micro strategy. And I also had emails from when I, when my Gmail account opened back up, I got a bunch of security emails that all kept started popping in and they were all about this micro strategy person. The one was where they changed my phone number to their phone number. And one was where they had changed my email address to their email address. So I had all of that information now that I got, had my Gmail account back. So that was good. And I, I sent that to YouTube too. Um, so when I tried to log in, I would say like around nine o'clock last night, it went to the MicroStrategy page, which had been suspended. Their page had been suspended, which meant my page was suspended because of illegal activity. These hackers grab a hold of your account so that they can shut it down, take control of it, so that they can run these cryptocurrency scams on people like selling fake coins or things like that. I don't know what all they do, but they were running live streams on my page of that crypto coin scam live stream, live stream, live stream. And that's why YouTube shut my page down, which was a good thing, which that's what gave us control back. That's what gave control to YouTube. You know, they, they shut it down and now they can work on the channel to reestablish it back to me. And that's what was happening when I pulled it up and I saw that micro strategy page. Because prior to that, I was seeing only my page had been suspended. So I was able to log in with my new information, my, my new uh, email, new password. They, they had changed my channel art and they changed my name. And that was about it. I had to go in. They erased all of my uh, description, my about information. So I had to go in and put all that back in and, you know, put my pictures back up and, and change the title make sure that the phone numbers, make sure their information was erased out of there. And I did all that last night. And here I am telling you guys to please be careful. Guys, please be careful if you are creators on YouTube. Even in your personal life, those of you who aren't creators, who don't even get on social media much, be careful with your other accounts. You know, if you're online paying anything, car payments, car insurance, rent, whatever, be careful of those accounts. Make sure everything is secured. Get your virus software, antivirus, get your antivirus software on your computer get one of those security key locks when i get mine i will show it to you and do the two step um authorization because even though they were able to get through it it still makes it harder for them you know 
they can do it, but it makes it harder. And an update. Try to change your password every three months or so. Make it something hard. Okay, just like what they say to do, do it. Do it, please. Guys, I thank you. I thank you. I apologize for anything that that the hacker was showing that was inappropriate if you happened to see it. It was not me. I thank you for sticking by and waiting for me to get back. I just thank God that I'm back. Thank God that this all worked out in my favor. I appreciate you guys. I love you. And I will see you soon.